Hey everyone. We all know Hollywood has no sense. So I'm here, Tabitha Davis with Tada Entertainment, giving you my two cents on this episode of Tab's Two Cents. Today we're gonna be talking a little deeper about the movie Pretty Woman. This was one of my favorites growing up. I never understood how I related to a hooker from LA so much as a 13 year old child. However, now with a little bit more knowledge behind me, I look at it a little different. This week we're gonna be talking about one of my favorites, Pretty Woman. In 1990s, this film hit the scene like boom. Blockbuster went crazy and Gary Marshall, the director, took this Cinderella story to the next level. Now my 13 year old self, when I first watched this, fell in love with the love story behind it. I wanted to be rescued by my Prince Charming and I knew it would happen because Julia Roberts could do it and if she could do it as a hooker, you know, I knew I could do it. So that's where the story was then. But not here, not today. Today we're gonna to take a deeper look. This is where it gets fun. Society as a whole, we like to keep the diversity. That being said, we like to judge prematurely as well. We see people based on their outward appearance or their sense of social stature. However, this keeps us close-minded and without acceptance in diversity, we'll never be able to grow or change as a whole in society. And so Pretty Woman shows us a very Cinderella fairy tale version of this. Now, when do fairy tales come true? You know, like in Pretty Woman's story, she had to disguise herself, um, go behind the scenes and meet this guy that was gonna be her Prince Charming, that was rich, and give her everything she didn't have, right? Well, that's not the story I saw. I couldn't understand why, when I was 13, I related so much to this character, Julia Roberts plays. Now, she plays a hooker, and I know at 13, I had no idea what that was, you know? Um, today, I look at it a little bit different. I don't think that's at all what I was so drawn to by this character. I think it was her, um, self-confidence that she carries through the entire movie and it was that self-confidence that that's what drew everybody to her even though her appearance and her status made her a less than an untouchable somebody not worth their time most not given her a second glance or the time of day um he showcased social indifferences in a way that made it relatable to everyone and he did this by casting a character with a job that was frowned upon by most of society. Um, that was genius. We related to her even if we couldn't relate to her, you know? And most women now having related to this character watch as her strength is what guides the story. It's her self-awareness and being okay with who she is. Even when others try to remind her, um, you know, you're less than. I see you dressed up and you've got money now, but you're still less than. You know, she knew better. She knew who she was and that's why this story has a has a great ending, has a fairy tale ending. She, I, here at Die Entertainment, like to dig a little deeper. So, I don't see just a hooker. When I watched this movie growing up, I related to her and I had no clue what a hooker was. I think the character is so relatable because when she is in Act 2, been given an opportunity from a business deal that she makes with Edward, she gets a chance to not only change her life at the end of the business deal, but she's given a chance to experience the other side of the tracks that she has never been accepted on. I think we've all felt that way at some time of, in our life, you know, how society sometimes tells us to be a certain thing or dress a certain way or, you know, if only our hair was like this or if we had this much money. Well, I that's feel like the takeaway from this movie is nobody can take your light. As long as you are self-aware, then that's where you gain your confidence. And like any fairy tale story, 
same as this one. It has a happy ending. But it's not because of some man coming along and rescuing this hooker from this tragic lifestyle. Instead, if you look deeper, it, it was her that knew who she was in the very beginning. This gave her a confidence about her that others were drawn to. Um, and that's what the story is about. Had she not been confident and known who she was at the beginning of the story, we never would have had a story. She never would have been able to get in the car with this person of higher class in society. He never would have gave her a second chance, just like in today's society. It's about how people perceive you and how society accepts you. And I, I think as a society as a whole, we need to start looking a little bit deeper than what's on the cover of the book. So that, that's Tab's Two Cents. Thanks for taking a deeper look into the story underlining our Cinderella with a twist, Pretty Woman.